and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Ask and it shall be given. And ye shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. Hallelujah, Hallelujah.
A reading from Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. God's praise always on my lips. In the Lord, my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. Taste, Taste and, and see, see that, that the Lord, Lord is good. good. Glorify the Lord with me. Together, let us praise God's name. I sought the Lord and was heard. From all my terrors set free. Taste, Taste and, and see that, that the Lord, Lord is good. good. Look towards God and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. When the poor cry out, the Lord hears them and rescues them from all their distress. Taste, Taste and see that, that the Lord, Lord is good. good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. They are happy who seek refuge in God. Taste, Taste and, and see, see that, that the Lord, Lord is good. good. A reading from Matthew. Jesus said, The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which someone found and hid. Then in his joy he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. On finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had and bought it. Today, perhaps more than at any time in decades, people are anxiously seeking to ensure their future security through investments, shrewd purchases, or even through some type of gambling activity. The lure of a fantastic return on our investments, purchases, or gambles is almost overpowering at times. We so anxiously want our future to bring us comfort, safety, and peace. For that reason, we aggressively seek that sure thing, the can't-miss purchase or the no-fail investment. Yet virtually every one of us can complete the phrase, if it sounds too good to be true. In the words of Jesus recorded by Matthew, we read tonight, we find the promise of just such a sure thing, an assurance we will find nowhere else in the universe. We learn from the teachings of Jesus that the kingdom of heaven can be ours, but our investment must be equally shrewd and our commitment to our action plan must be unwavering. By committing our lives to Christ, by placing our investment in the promise of God, we are guaranteed a future of unimagined joy and tranquility among the hosts of heaven. Are we ready for such a commitment?
night is clear as the day. Our darkness is never darkness in your sight. The deepest night is clear as the day. Our darkness is never darkness in your sight. The deepest night is clear as the daylight. Our darkness is never darkness in your sight. The deepest night is clear as the daylight. Our darkness is never darkness in your sight. The deepest night is clear as the Let us seek God's intercession. For all those who faithfully announce your word, Lord, we pray. Be with us and incline our hearts to your will, O Lord. Enable us to recognize your presence in our neighbors. Make us attentive to the poor and unfortunate. Be with us and incline our hearts to your will, O Lord. Lord, we pray for those who suffer in their workplace and for those who are without work, that their dignity may be respected. Be with us and incline our hearts to your will, O Lord. For prisoners and those forgotten by society, keep us in solidarity with their suffering, O source of comfort, we pray. Be with us and incline our hearts to your will, O Lord for abandoned children, that they may find peace with those who welcome them. Lord, we pray. Be with us and incline our hearts to your will, O Lord. For scholars and researchers, that their work may benefit all humanity. Lord, we pray. Be with us and incline our hearts to your will, O Lord. For those who have responsibilities in public life, that they may act with integrity, and for the good of all, Lord, we pray. Be, Be with, with us and, and incline our hearts to your will, O Lord. As our Savior Christ taught us, we now pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Let us pray together. God of all the living, enable us to surrender ourselves to you in silence and love. Surrendering ourselves to you does not come easily to our human condition but you intervene in the deepest recesses of our being, and your will for us is the radiance of hope. of the Lord in the land of the living. Yes, I shall see the goodness of our God. Hold firm, trust in the Lord. I am sure I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Yes, I shall see the goodness of our God, hold firm, trust in the Lord. I am sure I shall see the goodness of our Lord in the land of the living. Yes, I shall see the goodness of our God, hold firm, trust in the Lord. I am sure 
I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Yes, I shall see the goodness of our God. Hold firm, trust in the Lord. I am sure I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Yes, I shall see the goodness of our God. Hold firm, trust in the Lord. I am sure I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Yes, I shall see the goodness of our God. Hold firm, trust in the Lord. I am sure I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Yes, I shall see the goodness of our God. Hold firm, trust in the Lord. Yeah. 
Oh, oh. 